Here we are back at Walnut Labs. This is experiment number two with using charcoal as a motor fuel. Now, as you can see, we have the bottom of our uh, Caterpillar air filter right now with a, a bed of coals in it that we're heating up. We tried this experiment once before and we did not have a success and we're thinking maybe we need to enlarge the fire because after all charcoal is already burned up and we might need a considerable more than we need for say wood gas. Here's our Caterpillar air filter. So the way the experiment is going to work today is air is going to come in here through the top. It's going to go down to the center tube and it's going to come out. Uh, the, the metal cover we saw over there with the charcoal in it is going to be attached here. So this air is going to come through the burgundy coals and then it's going to come out here and into our engine and we'll see how that works. Okay, we got a hot bed of coals covered by some fresh charcoal and now we're going to put the whole assembly together. Okay, so now I've got a hot mass of charcoal here. I'm going to assemble our vaporizer and see if I can get it all together. Without burning myself. Too bad. Okay, got it. We're starting to get a nice smoke from uh, uh, from our apparatus here, so we're going to see, uh, give it a few minutes and see if it'll ignite. Okay, now we've added a, a few drops of water to increase steam because when that steam hits the lit charcoal bed, it should turn into flammable carbon monoxide. Let's see if our smoke will light. Nothing yet. We've got our test engine running, and what I'm finding is, is that as soon as I start to reduce the amount of fuel coming from the gas tank, engine starts to die. Let's see if it works this time. It doesn't like this smoke. We're a bit perplexed here at Walnut Labs. We know for sure that in Australia during World War II, thousands of these charcoal gas producers were running cars. But yet here in our test laboratory, we can't seem to make it work. It's back to the drawing board.